Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I want to quickly show you an overview of how we can integrate um, video management software or NVRs, DVRs to the Prodigy GX client platform. Okay, so it, obviously in this example, I'm going to show you the Archive and GX integration because Archive is our own brand, uh, but the steps are fairly similar between different brands that ICT will support. So let's have a look at how we can program this and just keep in mind that on the ICT.co website under my ICT, you will find the downloads of the video services based on the platform you want to integrate. So obviously there's the archive video service. This little middleware needs to be running on every client, every GX client that wants to do video integration. Okay, without this in, in um, this, this software, sorry, uh, you cannot actually view the camera pop up and the images. You cannot even actually manage or create the links to the cameras. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can integrate video management platforms with the ICT Protege GX software and client. So this integration will require you to buy a license for each camera you want to integrate, okay? So if your VMS uh, server or NVR, DVR has, let's say, 32 channels, uh, you don't necessarily need to be, to be buying or purchasing 32 uh, licenses in GX for cameras. Maybe you want to only grab the exterior cameras or some key you know, cameras in the system. So you just need to buy the number of cameras that you want to integrate, not necessarily the number of cameras that are on that remote server you want to connect to. Okay, so that's very important. By default, the standard software has one camera, so you can actually test the integration, you know, and then if you're happy with the results, then you can basically uh, purchase uh, the camera channels that you need for GX, okay? So, the first step is to create the DVR, okay? On, on top of, you know, obviously installing the middleware from ICT that is creating the bridge between, let's say, GX and Archive. So, under monitoring, setup, and the DVR, and it says DVR, but it can be an NVR, UVR, a hybrid machine, as soon as it's one of the platforms that are supported. And again, for every video management system that is integrated with GX, there is an application note, and it's very important to look at the requirements, the prerequisites, to make sure that you are using the version that ICT did implement into their platform. Okay, so, um, you know, that's very important before you can start installing or selling this integration, make sure that you're using the, the versions that will match. Okay, so the first step, in this case, again, it's an archive uh, server that I'm connecting to, I'm connecting to the office archive server, and then we have the IP address, the port, and the service port. So with archive, we connect to the web interface port. So in this case, we're using 88 for our demo server, okay? The service port is something that you must specify when installing the, the middleware, okay? 8070 uh, is the default for that port. You can pick another one if this one is already used on site, okay? And in this case, I'm using custom as a DVR type because it's a separate integration. There's some old natively integrated, uh, you know, platforms, but I'm not sure if all of them are still used. Um, mostly for the recent version of the VMS integrations, uh, you will need to download the middleware, as I said before, okay? Um, obviously, in this case, we use a login, so you have to enter a, a login that will have access to the cameras you want to connect to. In this, a, in this case, I'm using the root account from Archive, okay? So step number one, you create the NVR, connect to the external IP or name and the port, and the put the correct login, obviously, and then it's gonna get you going. So under monitoring, set up and then now cameras so there's basically um, different types of cameras the first one is the one integrated on a, on a dvr okay <clears throat> but you can also create direct cameras or uh, you know uh, RT, rtsp streams like in this example we have a couple of uh, ict ipic uh, camera intercoms outside and then we can actually connect to the camera feed of those intercoms now in this case, I want to show you how to add a camera that is on our archive server. So I want to click add here. Okay, before you put a name, there's a little trick. So select the DVR from the list. Okay, and now we click on the browse button to grab and bring the list of cameras on the screen. Okay, so let's say I pick, um, you know, this, uh, this camera here, so the marketing corridor. You can copy, control C, control V. So you see, it's very easy to put the name in there. Okay. Now, some cameras may be used for analytics, like motion detection and line crossing. So if you, if you have the HLI license and you select monitor events, the system will send you a motion start, motion ended on the detections from the NVR side, okay? 
now we can save this. Now, basically in the system, we want to grab those cameras and assign these to areas, inputs, and doors, and things like that. So in this example, so now I've assigned the camera to the entry of the warehouse to um, second floor offices door. Okay, so I can right click, call the camera um, channel like this. It's gonna open a live image, a five seconds loop back and a 30 seconds loop back where you can actually move around. Obviously there was no motion in this section, but it's basically how it works, okay? So from now on, if I look at events in the system, Okay, you see, when there's an icon next to a door like this, I can basically select, all right, and call the live image of the camera, or simply call the playback uh, of, the, of the camera as well. So, I'll, see, maybe I pick a camera with the wrong, the wrong door, hold on. Oh, this one is the right one, sorry. Camera live. Okay, I was trying to call a camera that was offline probably. So this is basically the camera we just had it earlier, okay? So in events, in event reports, you can call this and then basically um, when an event related to a device with a camera shows up, then there's always the camera icon, okay? So we can put cameras also in status pages. We can call cameras for events. We can have, let's say on a door forced open event, you can call the, the, the camera pop up on door forced open or, or on any door events. So it's a very useful feature. And again, with the standard license, there's one camera channel that you can use for testing, okay? And if the NVR or DVR or VMS brand is not supported by ICT, if you're able to actually get the RTSP or H.264 stream of th these channels or these cameras, you can create them as direct cameras in, in GX and then you don't necessarily need to uh, you know, force the client to use a very specific VMS system. Okay, so the only drawback is that you won't be able to do playback, but at least you can have a live pop-up, let's say on a door forced open, or have the cameras added to a status page. Okay, so again, this was how to quickly um, integrate VMS, DVRs, and VRs with the ICT Project GX platform. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, follow us on, on YouTube and other social media, and then uh, if you have any questions about ICT products or any products that Nexus is selling, please contact our sales team and our support teams are ready to help you as well. All right, so thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis.